It's difficult to define or to tell with words. That's impossible, if this is really on an emotional basis. I'm surprised how intense she feels and I'm curious which colors she will use and how she will express this and with which color. Okay, imagine, the person sits in front of me and we don't talk at all. I don't want to have a verbal conversation with the person who sits there as I don't want to be influenced by the person with his or her words and I don't want to be influenced by his or her appearance. And therefore, I take my time and try to really sense the person while I only watch the person without any talking, only observing without a word and only looking into his or her eyes. Sometimes it can take like only two or three minutes or sometimes it can also take like 20 or 30 minutes or even longer until I really sense the person. So I wait until I get the feeling for the person that can be a specific feeling or it could be a color or a symbol or so mm, and I don't really question myself about it, it I just let it happen somehow uh, I also don't know how it happens and I don't really care how to be honest but then suddenly something is flowing when the person allows it we have to be sort on the same level, on the same awareness level. Mm, I would explain it like this. The same awareness level when it's there. Sometimes it takes longer, sometimes it happens fast. Then I feel that the information is flowing and I get an impression of it and I get an awareness of the person. As I said, it could be something, something concrete, like I feel the person as fiercely or so, and then I try to imagine a picture of that. Yes, and then it is, for example, if somebody is fiercely, it could be a lady who plays chess, or if somebody is showing a lot of love for his or her life, then it would be a colorful tree. I never know that beforehand, it really occurs during the watching process. And then I start to draw and it takes about like 10 or 15 minutes. And yes, then a picture of how I really see the person comes up into my mind. It was a very intense time and I felt that as very pleasant. So it wasn't strange at all and the big hall wasn't there. It was then only a small room and there is a really special atmosphere. You could really see how she was aware of me and after she had explained it, I could really well follow and see the reaction which was showing on her face. And I told myself, wow, amazing. So it was really a wonderful experience and I would recommend that to everyone. So I asked myself, why are people so interested in that? And I realized that there is a huge desire of being noticed and of really being noticed by a person who is neutral and who is not prejudiced and who doesn't know um, well, if the person who is sitting there right now is a butcher or a bank clerk and is judged by that, I only judge him or her by really what I see in him or her. As this fact was also a very big surprise to me that it was so thrilling and it is or was so 
well received and so enriching for the people and I hear them say oh that's so interesting to hear and I didn't know that I was recognized like this and I'm seen like this and I never myself I never saw a, or heard a, a form of art like that before well but when I had the idea I felt very excited and I had a good feeling to not only write a profile but to draw a picture and show that in a form of art like this is something something new um, so I started to test with a, a circle of friends and with other acquaintances and I realized that it was received very well and I decided to perform that as an exhibition and I was just thinking let's see how it works the choice of colors or the material was clear to me from the beginning. Mm, I have decided to use a pastel chalk on a black background. Well, as this really has the best color effect. For example, you can use it in a bright pastel and decent form. Um, but you can also use it in a powerful, shining way. And with this form of application, I can use it for a whole range of possibilities. And I really need that, as people who sit in front of me are so full of different characteristics, from modest to quiet people who are strong, extravagant and colorful. The choice of the pastel chalk was also the best choice uh, for me as you can use it very quickly and at the same time precisely and as I said I can use it for the whole spectrum. During the exhibition I also noticed what was going on around me mm, but imagine you are in the bathtub, you are underwater and that's how you hear the voices outside. Like totally hazy and filtered and at, like as if the TV would be on in the background. That's how I felt. So I didn't really realize what was going on around me and I really faded it out and this is very important. So I have to power the background off, otherwise I cannot focus on the person. At the end it is an interaction, a giving and taking. People who sat in front of me gave me a lot of information and I'm processing and putting that in the form and then and then something new appears again and the cycle starts again and again. Awareness of people was always interesting for me for many, many years and this had nothing to do with the art that I'm showing now. Um, well, I'm generally curious about people and I also like to look behind the masquerade. And I've often realized in my life that the facade people are showing has really nothing to do with the real person. This was always very fascinating for me. What I'm practicing in my professional life with potential analysis and with creating profiles for people is nothing different. I try to filter the real potential or real capabilities, the character and the skills of a person. And as I have done that for more than 100 or in the meantime over a thousand of people professionally, um, I would say that my skills are quite sharpened by doing that constantly. Well, I'm doing that for 13 years. And it's still exciting again and again. And everybody who sits in front of me, whether during the Unverhüllt exhibition or during the potential analysis, uh, it is still the same exciting procedure which is fascinating me immensely. This procedure has been developed by me during my professional career and it was developed further through the exhibition Unverhüllt. And I hope I will continue with that. Well, to see the people how they really are and not how they would like to show themselves.
and that's really fascinating to see the people with their real character and abilities and not the facade. 